Hello everybody, welcome to another Ninjamon97 video, and I saw I got a lot of support for my tutorial video on how to install the new graphics drivers for Windows 8, and I thought maybe I could capitalize on that success with another tutorial. I know, so devious and evil and marketing strategy E. Anyway, since I made a dev side mod trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install it but this is for the steam version I'm not sure exactly how it works for um, the DVD version and I know there are other tutorials out there but hopefully uh, mine will be maybe of better quality or just you know you don't want to go searching around for one and you just happen to stumble upon mine then welcome so first thing you want to do is open up steam and then go to your library and then this is assuming you have downloaded Star Wars Battlefront 2 you just click on properties local files browse local files game data and then in game data you just create a new folder that says add-on now mine is nothing in it and you need more than just the Star Wars Battlefront 2 dev side mod to make it work you need the unofficial 1.3 patch and you can find this on the internet I'll just put a link in uh, but I'll try to find it if I can't then I'll just look it up yep I can't find it so I'll just look it up for you guys so just look up Star Wars Battlefront 2 1.3 patch and that should get you what you want. So you'll see all this, and then you should see file front. And I don't see it, so I'm just going to cut the video out and then put the link in the uh, the end of the video. Actually, I might not. <laughs> I'm changing my mind so much here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, fine. Mm, still not showing up, so I'm just going to take a short segue through this video. I'll credit the, uh, the, um, the creator. So, yeah. You just have to go to this video and then click on that link. So, I'll credit the creator and this link. So, you can just download that and then I'll just do that because I can't find it and I'm lazy. <laughs> So yeah, I just download it. Uh, there is a bit of a problem with media fire being slow, but you can hopefully work around it. Let's check. <laughs> yep, it definitely doesn't want to download, but it's starting. Thank you. Uh, so it should start downloading. And then all you have to do is click run. So now you just click yes. And then close all of those. And then read this very carefully just to make sure that you're not, uh, you know, putting a virus on your computer. And then you, it should, um, you just browse to your Steam folder. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it just because it's a tutorial and I feel obliged to because, I don't know, tutorial. So you go to your local disk and then you go down to program files times 86 and then Steam, you just have to find Steam. And then Steam apps right there. Common. And then you'll see these. You just have to click on Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then press OK. And then for some reason it says the folder is not valid. This does not happen normally. Hopefully this won't happen to you. <laughs> it might though. It's, yep, you just need to, uh, 
think that's what you need to do. Yep, and then go for custom here. I personally think this HUD is much too clunky. So, yeah. You can just, uh, you can do that if you want, and then boom. So it should work, and then you will have a folder, AAA-V1.3 patch in your folder. Now, all you need to do is take the dev side mod, you open that, and then you just, you just drag it to the folder. And then it will take a little while because it's a pretty big mod. So, it'll just take a little while to download. And then, uh, that's how you do it. And then you can just open up Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then all will be well. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!